A pillar in the community by the name of Killer Mike, he's a rapper, he's a hip-hop artist, he said this is what blacks need to do in order to hear their issues heard, to get bills passed. You gotta create a lobbying group to get your issues heard and passed through Congress and the House. He says blacks need to plot, plan, mobilize, and strategize. From what I take from this, the perspective is in politics, money does the talking. Money gets shit done. Not just saying this is what we want, this is what we want. Are you mobilizing? Are you strategizing? Are you plotting and are you planning as a community? For Mr. Ron T, I would like for you to look at this evidence and I would like to get your perspective. Here we have LA homelessness. Homelessness is at an all time high. And guess who is ran by? Which party it's ran by? What party would that be, Mr. CP? Be the Democrats. The Democrats. Could you go to the next presentation, Ms. Ariel, please? Thank you. Here we have something interesting. This is personal to a lot of people. This is the Flint water crisis, where kids were poisoned by city officials. They said, you know what, we're gonna pass a bill and say, you know what, it's okay to drink this water. It's safe for the community, it's safe for kids. Kids are suffering from Ligarian's disease. Elderly people have died from this. Mr. CP, which party runs the city of Flint? That'll be the Democrats. The Democrats. The mayor of Flint was a Democratic mayor. Could you please go to the next presentation, please, Ms. Ariel? Here we have the city of Chicago where violence has ran rapid, predominantly in black communities. Mr. CP, which party runs Chicago? Uh, that's my auntie, Lori Lightfoot. And the she's a what? Democrat. She's a Democrat. She's also a real nigga, too. And she's, according to you, a real nigga. Could you go to the next slide, please? My final slide and final point. Here we have Philadelphia, which is predominantly black. And which party is the mayor overseeing the city of Philadelphia? Can you tell me, Mr. CP? This is a democratic uh, responsibility right here. So the Democrats. Dr. Umar Johnson, as many of you know, he's a controversial figure. He's appeared on so many different places. One of the places he's appeared on is The Breakfast Club. And he stated something that tied into this that's ran by the Democrats in Philadelphia. He says, and I quote, Philadelphia leads the nation with the highest life without parole sentencing for black people. Philadelphia's life without parole sentencing for black people is number one in the country. He also says that most of these young people that are incarcerated are at the age of 23. He says they are stealing life from our babies. With that being said, Mr. Ron T, what would you like to say to your party that you're defending, leading many of these black communities, some say it's the Democrats, that are bringing the black community down. What would you like to say to that? Well, first of all, I'd like to say, uh, niggas be homeless, dog. That's how it go. Some niggas ain't got no house. How is that the whole motherfucking party's fault? So if I had diarrhea last year, what, that's Trump's fault now? <laughs> Everything that take place over the course of years don't have everything to do with a specific party. But I will tell you this, once again, I'm not here to defend how great the Democratic Party is. I'm here to defend it being canceled. You can show me all this shit in the world, right? <laughs> if it's gone, who's left? The Republican Party. We cannot deal with these idealistic fucking fantasies when it comes to motherfuckers' real deal life. You got no Democratic Party, what do you got left? You got the Republican Party. What do they give a fuck about? The dollar and fuck you. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Fine, all right, now you ain't got the nice Democratic Party and they're lying to you, stroking your booty, doing it with a little bit of Vaseline. <laughs> cool, but now you got the Republicans who like, bitch, open that thing up. <laughs> you, That's a fact. You want Vaseline? Or you want somebody to Wesley pipes your ass? <laughs> and that's all the fuck I'm talking about. It, now, you can go it. back and forth with all you want to do, but you cancel the Democratic Party, you got Wesley Pipes, Mr. Marcus, Rico Strong, <laughs> Byron Long, <laughs> in your booty hole. Without consent. So you cancel, the, you cancel the Democratic Party if you want to. Don't act like everything is peachy cream after that. The, the idea of what's the, the worse of or the lesser of two evils, that's a real deal statement. Yeah, we dealing with two evils, but if you cancel the lesser, now you got the most.
That's what I got to say about that. Not been in jail. It ain't that bad. <laughs>